Okay, everybody, what we have here is the AC Infinity Temperature Humidity Controller, not just their standard controller to turn it up one to 10 speeds. This is actually the controller that you can program. What we have here is the controller, the thermometer is plugged in, the fan is plugged in, and the fan is plugged into the wall. You can hook up to two fans in using the secondary output. Just make sure you put the primary fan that you wanna control in the one with the power. That is your power inlet. So if my power is coming from there, I need to have that, then I can add another fan. Putting that aside to program it, here's how we're gonna program it today. We're gonna to set to general temperatures. We're gonna to set to 85 degrees. We're gonna to set to a general humidity of 55. This will set it so that if the temperature raises 85 or above, the fan will come on. If it goes above 55% humidity, it will go on. It's or, not and. So either one of those will trigger the fan. Right now it's in echo mode, you can barely see it. We hit the button once to wake it up. You can see it's off and my setting is zero, which I want. I would note, I press it again, it's on, setting is zero. We will have to come back and change that. So I'm gonna hit this one more time. That's gonna get us into auto. Here are your four auto settings. High temp and low temp trigger on a high temp or low temp. Same with humidity, high humidity or low. Because we're growing in a tent and how we're using this, we're not gonna use the low temp or the low humidity. We'll use the high temp and high humidity to trigger. So I'm gonna set the high humidity all the way up, or the high temp, sorry, all the way up to, oh, a little too high, 85 degrees. Now that's set to 85 for the high temp. Wants to take me to low, I want that set to off. Now I'm gonna go to high humidity. We're gonna set that to 55% humidity, 55. Low humidity I want off also, don't need a trigger there. Now, if I left it that way, what would happen is when it turned on, the fan would only go to zero, which means the fan's not gonna move. So our setting here in the on affects where it goes when it triggers. So I wanna set this somewhere between one and 10. One is the lowest, it moves barely any air. I can tell you for a grow, it's not gonna be high enough. You're gonna need somewhere around a five to 10 setting. I would observe if you use too much air, you might kind of suck your tent in, it might be too much or disturb your plants. And if you use too little, you're not gonna remove enough moisture and heat from your tent to make you happy. So I'm gonna set this to kind of in the middle at eight and you're gonna hear the fan start to turn on. It's gonna to start to catch up here. It's gonna ramp this number up till it hits eight and you'll hear the fan starting. However, that, if I left it here, it would stay on indefinitely. I need to hit this one more time and that is going to take you into auto mode. You can hear and see the fan is ramping back down. Now it will stay at zero until the temperature goes above 85 degrees or the humidity goes above 55%, at which time it will go to a speed of eight and start taking care of your tent for you. If when you're setting this up, you have any questions, as always, give us a call, chat us up at Black Dog LED, and we'll be happy to answer any questions and make sure your garden is set up properly. Happy gardening.